Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see my April faves. Yes, April was my birthday month, so it was very special to me. And it was special because I found lots of wonderful products that I use throughout the month that I'm very excited to share with you. First, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you subscribe and click that little bell. That will just send you an email notification about my future anti-aging, I like to call them youthing videos. Also, if you could give me a thumbs up, I hear that's helpful too. Okay, let's get down to this, and I will tell you that I'm wearing many of the products that I'll be telling you about. The first product that I'm wearing today is this Physician's Formula The Healthy Foundation, and it does have an SPF of 20, and it is in the color LN4, which I think is light neutral 4, which is generally, I'm three or four colors down usually from the lightest color. I did a video wear test about this foundation, and I'll link it below, but I really do like this one. I have it on right now, and what I notice about it is that it truly does give your skin a healthy look, kind of a poreless look. I would say it's a medium to full coverage foundation, and when I did my wear test on it, it lasted all day into the evening. I think I wore it for about 10 hours, and it really did look like healthy skin at the end of the day. If you're looking for a drugstore foundation that gives you great coverage and looks natural, this may be for you. Now my next favorite is the Laura Mercier Secret Under Eye Brightening Powder. And I think I love the name Secret, but it really does do what it promises, which I think is a rare thing because I have been looking for concealers and under eye powders to kind of brighten up this under eye area, and this one really does the trick. Not only does it give us a little bit of pop, a little bit of brightness under our eyes, but it does not accentuate fine lines and wrinkles. In fact, the Laura Mercier powders I find are great at just giving you a wonderful, blurred out, perfection-like surface. Now my next favorite I almost wasn't going to show you today, it's again another Laura Mercier powder, and this is the Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I was going to wait till next month on this powder, but then I put my makeup on and I realized that it just looked a little bit greasy, it just looked a little bit not right. So I grabbed for my favorite powder, which is this Laura Mercier Setting Powder, and I put it all over my face and it just blurred out everything, it just made all of my makeup look good together, got rid of that little bit of shine, and just gave my face a very bright look. If you're looking for a great powder, this is a wonderful one. Now with summer coming, I'm always looking for that perfect bronzer, and I found it in this Becca Sunlit Bronzer, and it is in the color Bally Sands. I did order this from Octoli, but I'd heard good things about it from other YouTubers, so I decided to give it a try. And I will say I don't have it on my face right now because I'm using another sculpting contour set, which I'll show you in just a few minutes, but I will be doing a natural makeup video in which I use this because unlike the other bronzers that I've tried, and I probably have 15 or so here that I have tried, most of them have a very orange look and they don't look natural. This one I find absolutely looks natural. Here it is, and as you can tell, it's really rather a skin-like color, and it doesn't have any shine, no shimmer and shine in that. So I find that this looks extremely natural. I love the way it gives me kind of a natural suntanned look, and I run it pretty much all around my cheeks, the top of my nose, and a little bit on my forehead, a little bit on my chin, and on my neck to kind of blend in my foundation. This is a fantastic natural bronzer. Now those of you who know me know I love eyeshadow palettes, and this month I have found a great one. In fact, I have not used any palette but about this and the small travel version of this all month long, and I'm going to save the little travel version for you until the next month's favorites because I just love these Smashbox shadows, and sometimes it's hard for me to leave them because they're so good. But this is the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette, and it comes with a wonderful little set of instructions. Here they are. I absolutely love it because Smashbox usually does this. It tells you for the various shapes of your eyes exactly how to apply your shadow, and I tried one of these looks and it looked very good. And this is the palette itself. I hope you can see that. Absolutely beautiful, natural, very, very wearable colors. This side holds more of the warm tones, and this side holds more of the cool tones. Here's a wonderful color for under the brow. And then this color, mixed with this color next to it, is just a little bit of a shimmer. I don't know if you can see that, but isn't that the most absolutely perfect little bit of shimmer for the lid area? And as we become more mature, I think it's nice to put something that's lighter on our lids because we can tend to have hooded lids and this brings them forward. And there's a wonderful gold color if you wanted to accent a little bit on the top of the lid. I love these browns over here. This is a wonderful transition color that I've been using a lot. And this is a great brown that is wonderful just deepening in the little outer V area. And in addition to having great shadows, it also comes with a very, very usable eyeshadow brush. I can't recommend this palette highly enough. 
Now my next product is for the eyes and it's a wonderful little workhorse and again this is the only eyeliner I've used all month. Absolutely love this one. This is the Julep Long Lasting Eyeliner in the color brown and again I've said this before but I used to wear very harsh blacks and if you're a blonde like me or a bleach blonde like me then brown is really your color most of the time. Every now and then on a glam evening you can use black but for the most part we blondes look good in brown. And here is the little eye pencil. The thing I love about this it goes on so smoothly it's almost like a liquid liner. Here I'll show you how it looks. As you can see it just gives you a perfect perfect little line. I don't find any need to smudge it out because I really like that cross that it gives between the look of a liquid eyeliner and a crayon. Plus it has a narrow tip that's very very easy to sharpen. I can't recommend this eyeliner highly enough. Now my next two products are Flower Beauty products and I absolutely love Flower Beauty. The more I try them, the more I'm impressed with them and find that the whole line just has a bunch of little treasures in it. And this is one of them. This is the Lift and Sculpt Contouring Palette and I've been using it for the last couple of weeks. And here it is, if I can get it open. It has a wonderful little blush and it has that great little fuchsia color which I absolutely adore. Then it has a fantastic illuminating highlighter. And normally I don't like things this shiny, I don't know if you can see that, but I have this on now and you do have to be a little bit sparing with it, especially if you're more grown up like I am. But it just gives you a little bit of extra glow. In fact, actually it gives you a lot of extra glow, but it is very blendable so you can go on very, very lightly and just get the most natural glowing look. I've got it on my cheeks as you can tell. I've got it a little bit here on the upper part of the nose. They say don't bring highlighter below that and especially because this is a shiny one, keep it on the top of the nose. I have a little bit in the Cupid's bow and I finished it off with a little bit in the Frankenstein divots and then I used a little bit of this wonderful contour. This is a fabulously natural looking contour. See that? It really just kind of blends in. I've noticed that since this is such a light natural color, I really don't have the problem of it turning into chocolate bars under my cheeks. It just lifts those cheeks and sculpts that jawline. And in fact, on the back of it, I really appreciate this. They just give you a little bit of a road map on the back of the product to show you where to apply all of these products all over your face to give you that professional yet natural makeup look. Now my next April fave is a lip product. In fact, I have it on right now. It's the Flower Beauty Matte Lip Duo in the color Tickled Pink. And I absolutely love this color. In fact, I carry this around with me in my purse. And although I try to keep trying other colors throughout the month, I really keep going back to this because it's absolutely beautiful. I'll put it on again for you. It's an absolutely gorgeous color and even though it's a matte, it does not feel like a dry, dusty matte on your lips. Even though it's a slight bit drying, it really feels more overall like a cream lipstick and it comes with its own little gloss, but unfortunately I've used it so much that I think I'm almost out of the gloss, which is a little disappointing. I wish they would give us more gloss, but I have about 30, 40 glosses in here so I'm sure I can find something to work with it. But this color is absolutely beautiful, very, very wearable, wonderful color for spring and summer. Now my next April fave is a fabulous product and I am blown away by this product. This is the Babe Lash Lash Lengthener and I'd actually ordered one from Amazon which was very highly rated. In fact, I still have that one on my vanity because I have not used it yet. But I saw Angie of Hot and Flashy talking about this. She just mentioned it offhandedly in one of her videos and said it was a good lash lengthener. And oh my, it certainly is. And I don't know if you can see this, but my eyelashes, I do not have any fake lashes on. These are my normal eyelashes. And about a month ago, I was having problems because the lash product that I had used before, and I was using the Care Pros product, which is the generic Bimatoprost. I keep going back to it. It'll work for a while and then it quits working. Well, it had stopped working and actually I didn't seem to have any eyelashes in the middle of this eye at all. And it was really almost impossible to apply mascara to make it look good because mascara can't build on lashes that you don't have. So I thought, well, I'll try this and see if I can grow these. And literally within two weeks, all of a sudden, I had lashes again. And I know that sounds crazy because I know lashes aren't supposed to grow that fast, but I was absolutely amazed by this product. And I've started to wear false lashes. In fact, I have a video coming up either about that or about magnetic lashes. I'm not sure. So if you're not a subscriber and would like to see that, just click that little bell and you'll be notified of that and my future videos. But even though I'm starting to experiment with false lashes and they are fun, I really don't have to use them because this Babe Lash is giving me the look of false lashes. I use this plus my Stila Lash Extreme Mascara, which is another favorite. I won't put it in the April faves because I've mentioned it before, but it is my absolute all-time favorite mascara. That coupled with the Babe Lash and I am all set. 
Now my last April fave has to do with my hair and I do have a video coming out which shows how I style my curly hair when I don't use a hair extension and really I was surprised but the curly hair actually gives my thin hair more of a body look and so it does work even without the extension. However, I am using a little secret today and that is the Irresistible Me Silky Touch Extensions. I requested that they send me these because I heard they were very, very natural and they just come in a little box like this and here are the ones that I don't have in my hair. I actually only have the single weft in my hair which has four clips and it just goes in the back there. I don't know if you can see that. Then I've got two little two wefts, one on either side just to give me a little more body here. So I really don't have a lot of the silky touch extensions in my hair. In fact, here are the ones that are left in the kit and there are quite a few left. And I will say that I color corrected these myself at home and if you'd like to see me do a video where I show you the bargain way that I do these silky touch extensions, let me know in the comments below. You may remember the Remy extensions I ordered from the Irresistible Me people. Here's a look at those extensions. They were longer at that point and very, very nice. And I still do wear those a lot, but I'm really enjoying these silky touch extensions. Number one, they're less expensive than the Remy's. And number two, while those Remy extensions were very thick at the ends, these are a little thinner at the ends and I think they look just that much more natural. These are human hair extensions and they're extremely reasonable in price. And now the company is selling the single weft extension, which really most of the time that's all I use is one single weft extension. In fact, this is the Royal Remy single weft extension. And as you can see, it just has four little clips on the back, but it does give you a lot of hair. And really whenever I wear hair extensions, I pretty much just wear the single weft. I don't really like messing with all those other little pieces and I worry that sometimes they can show, but this absolutely never shows. And the difference between the Royal Remy and the Silky Touch extension is that while this is very, very thick consistently throughout the hair extension, on the Silky Touch, the ends get thinner just like your natural hair does, and I think they look very, very real. And again, if you'd like to see me demonstrate the Silky Touch extensions, I will be glad to do that, and I'll do it with the Beachy Wave style because I feel the Silky Touch do much better in terms of the Beachy Waves. I think this is a little bit too thick to get those Beachy Waves. I really prefer this when I like the long straight hair. Well, that's a look at my April faves, and I did have a lot of them this month, and I always keep lists in my cell phone whenever I find great products, and I was really excited to share them with you. Now I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and today is no exception. I'm going to be choosing a card from the Life Loves You cards from Louise Hay. Let's go ahead and choose one and I've taken out the duplicates so I don't have many in here. I just ordered some more cards. Okay I love this. I am flourishing. I am flourishing. I am actually. Imagine your income expanding easily and effortlessly. Trust that all your material needs are being met by the universe. Friends, this is so, 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 so important because I truly believe that our thoughts are energy. And in fact, more and more, they're starting to prove that, that our thoughts are actually energy. So if we go around feeling like we're flourishing in mind, body, and spirit and flourishing financially, I believe that gives us energy, which attracts the funds that we need in our lives. So just through your day to day at many different times, just think to yourself, I am flourishing. I am flourishing. And don't just say the words, get the feeling that that brings about. I am flourishing, my material needs are being met by the universe, and all is well. Take care. See you next time.